everybody. Um, today I thought we would do a create with me uh, making these little numbered tags. Um, I've seen a couple of people making these and everybody's doing them uh, slightly different. So this is uh, what I've come up with and it's just another um, take on how to, to make some of these little tags for your junk journals. I love how these came out. Um, I chose not to use the glossy accents or embossing powder, but if you want that shiny look, you can. But I really like the, the aged. Uh, it reminds me of worn leather. And so I thought today we would just create some of these. Now, um, what I'm going to do today, it, just to mix it up a little bit, I thought I want to try using this small rectangle instead of the circles because I've got quite a few of the circle ones done. So the process is going to be the same, it's just that you would opt to use, and this is about a one and a half inch die cut. Um, if you've got the circle punch that would be even easier, but I don't have that size of a circle punch. So just very quickly, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut out a few of these because I want to make uh, several so that I've got some in my stash. This is just kind of, it's, it's a heavyweight recycled craft card that I've, I've got and I'm just going to do several of these. Now the number, you're just going to want to cut that out about, depending on how much how raised you want it to be. I think I doubled mine, but if you wanted it to stand out even more, you could do three. Three of those, and then you'll glue them together, and then we'll start working on how I achieved that look. So yeah, I think, I think we'll try three today and see if that uh, stands out even more. <clears throat> I'm just going to get a couple of these. We'll make two or three of these together. I ordered uh, some of the craft cardstock, and uh, I'm not mad on this. This, this, what's come in, it's a bit heavier than I actually like working with. I like the thinner um, cardstock for uh, working within the journal, but <laughs> for this purpose, it, it's actually worked out really well because I've. It's a slightly sturdier. Had to grab my fleece there, guys. It's a little bit chilly this morning. All right, so I've got three of those now. Let me just cut out a couple more of the number five, and I'll pull this over and just do this very quickly. Um, <coughs> Okay, sorry about that. I should have had that done in advance, but um, anyways, we got there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is glue your little numbers together. And that's when these little precision tip glue bottles come in handy. <laughs> um, so you can kind of see that that's just two. I'll go ahead and try one with three, because like I said, those circle ones I did with two, but I think, I think it probably would benefit from three layers just to make that stand out even more. I just love these. And it's funny because um, I I'll have to cut 
I love that. Yeah, I'll just set that to the side. We're just going to do two today. Um, I was just about to sell these in a D stash, and uh, and then I saw someone do this, and I thought, oh wow! I thought, hang on there, Gina. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? Just about the time, you know. Luckily, I did it. It, I found the idea before I got rid of it because it's normally after, right after I de-stash something, I will see the most amazing tutorial come across. But it's just typical, isn't it? Oh yeah, that's much better. You can see that's that's made that pretty thick there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get those glued down. Now you could, it doesn't have to be plain, you could actually put um, like a nice piece of Tim Holtz scrapbooking paper or, you know, any kind of design. I just really, really love the leather look to these. I don't know, I have a thing, I absolutely love leather and <coughs> lace combined. And I guess that's why my style has developed the way it has is because I I like the contrast of, of the rustic with a little bit of feminine. I just think it is it's it's just what I'm drawn to. Um, I love shabby chic as you guys know but I, I just don't go too far. Okay now let me grab paintbrush here. Now some of this you are going to get dirty just so you know because um, you're going to use your fingers on some of this. So I just started off hitting this with some of this. Um, it doesn't matter, just any kind of brown. This is a dark chocolate. I don't know why that's a mocha. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to need that, but this is a gold metallic, and then I've got a copper. Um, now, if you've got the um, gilding wax, you can use that as well. Mine dried up, and I just have, because the stores aren't open here, I haven't had a chance to to go out and get any, any more. So I just found that this worked perfectly fine, so... And I need to use it up. I'm trying to dwindle down my paints. Just trying to dwindle down everything, really, because there's just so many. If you've been crafting a while, you know what I'm talking about. There's so many things that I bought over the years thinking I was going to do, and I either haven't had time to do it, or I tried it and it wasn't my thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I'm just... I've just got to start dwindling it down because I do feel as though there's going to be some big changes coming very, very soon for me. And um, I want to be somewhat prepared. <laughs> okay, so that is the, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of the gold. Actually, let me start with the copper. I'll put a little bit of that, and then I'll come back with the gold, and then we also need a little bit of white. <clears throat> um, I didn't want these too much uh, shine, so I'm only using just a little bit. Because as I said, I, I'm wanting it to end up with a very um, worn, leathered look to it. And a little bit of this, and then we'll come back and highlight that with some... Uh, gesso is what I'm going to actually...
Okay, this is where it's start to get a little bit dirty. Just taking a little bit of gesso. <clears throat> and if you get too much like that, that's that's got too much. I can already see that. So come back with a little bit more of the brown. Okay, so now you can you can hopefully see how that's starting to look. It, it just the more you add to it, <clears throat> the more depth you're going to get with the color. And just play around with it until you get the colors that you like. And then, like I said, just I. Definitely went too heavy with that gesso, so just a little bit lighter, and that'll just make it see how it kind of pulls around the <clears throat> the number, and it just makes it stand out a little bit more. Yeah, I'll put just a little bit more of this copper, I think. Just kind of blend that in. Yeah, I like those. I like, I actually like the rectangle shape. That's really, really nice. Okay, so let me just grab a couple of little eyelets. set those very quickly. I think the three, okay, just so you can see, that's with two, and that's the three. It's definitely nicer with three um, added to that. I love that. I think that's really, really nice. Um, let me just see. That was the mocha. Let me just see if I add a little bit of that to it as well. That might be a little bit darker. It's been a few weeks since I, uh, oh gosh, that's really weird. They call that mocha, and that's very red. Mm. I don't know if I want to. No. I don't, I don't think that really helps. It's been a few weeks since I made those, and I, um, I pulled out the colors I thought. I'd use, but clearly not that mocha. Okay. 
Okay, let's get a couple of the eyelets in. Okay guys, there they are. Those are so quick and easy. I think those are being really, really cute um, with the little bulb pin and then maybe just a small piece of lace uh, hanging in your uh, journal. And if I ever get really, really good at making charms, those would be perfect. <laughs> I'm still working on that. Oh gosh, I'm I jewelry was not is it's just not my thing as you probably gathered by now. Uh was one of those things I thought I could do, but I can't. <laughs> I clearly can't do it. Anyways, guys, that's um that's some another little thing for you to practice and hopefully um you'll get the chance to make some of these. I just love how they came out and I do like the rectangle. I think that's really nice. Um so I hope you've enjoyed that today. I hope everybody is uh, safe and well, and I'll be back very soon. Take care. Bye.